Hi, I'm Drew. I'm Scott. Welcome to Every Man's Whiskey. Today is our third flavor episode. Let's hope we don't get stung. Or throw up. On today's episode, we're trying honey whiskeys. I know Scott's excited about this. Not a big fan of flavored whiskeys that we've had so far. We did apple, mm -hmm. and we did... Peanut butter hell. Peanut <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> I tried to ban it you from my to... mind. Now, okay, here's the thing, though. Honey. Yeah? You like that? Honey's a good thing. Whiskey. You like that? Great. I love whiskey. Put them together. I... Honey whiskey. Hopefully, you would think. So today we're going to try the Evan Williams, the Jim Beam, the Wild Turkey, and the Jack Daniels Honey. You excited? More nervous. Ah. <laughs> Let's get started. For our first tasting today, we're going to the Evan Williams Honey. Ooh, we have not had a good experience with Evan Williams flavors, but Evan Williams regular lineup we tasted. We and, did have a good experience. It surprised yeah. us, yeah. But I don't have high hopes for this no. because of our other apple and peanut butter Evan Williams right. experiences. Yeah. So, honey whiskey's been around for pretty popular the last couple decades. Sure. But the origins actually go back to like the late teen, 1800s. Okay. Scotland. Oh. Uh, Drambu, have you had that? I have had that. That's when that was first. Yeah. And that's a Scotch whiskey. Mm -hmm. with they have, Officially have to call it a liqueur because of the, the rules of Scotch. You can right. no longer call it that. But So, it's been around a long time. Okay. It's a good fact. Probably better than this. Oh, definitely. All right. So this one's very light in color. Um, we'll put it on the uh, the light honey color. <laughs> I'm glad you laughed at that one. All right. On the nose. It's like a white wine. Uh, definitely getting that, that deep honey hint of vanilla, I, maybe. I would have thought more sweetness from honey than I'm getting, Yeah. which isn't a bad thing. Right. Yeah. It's a little more subtle than I expected. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying it. So let's go in for the first sip. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of uh, cold medicine that I took as a child. <laughs> it is it is uh, very syrupy. It is pretty syrupy. Let me get another no. sip in here. Okay. It's not super pleasant for the first one which is i was expecting i was prepared for i just wanted it to be better than what it was i don't like this one really at all drew i maybe as a mixer like with lemonade or i don't know whatever you mix whiskey honeys with right um yeah i'm just gonna leave the rest of this for what about, cameraman what about Larry. With the hot toddy like with lemon Right, some lemon and mm -hmm. maybe some whiskey. Warmed up. <laughs> Put some whiskey in. <laughs> that's a really good idea. I feel like that's probably a better use of this. Uh, nah, not good. No, nah, no. Nah. Let's move on. Scott, for our second one, going to Jim Beam, honey. Jim Beam Honey, introduced in 2012. In 2013, they ran a PR campaign um, hiring the lawyer from Seinfeld, oh, yeah. Jackie Childs, yeah. to sue bears. Bears are <laughs> egregious, <laughs> devious, and just plain mischievous. Okay. Ultimately raising money for uh, the, the, the honey, the bees dying off, and the plight of bees. <laughs> <laughs> so random. That's a random fact. Yep. So raise awareness for their own whiskey and bees dying off from bears. Probably not the reason. N no, but no. Bees were dying off from other things, but not bears. Anyway, this looks a lot like the last one. Yeah, uh, ever so slightly darker, um, but still on the light honey color on the nose. Getting more honey this time. Uh, hint of caramel on this one. I still don't smell as much honey as I would think I would. Right, no. It's, we did apple peanut butter, it like yeah. filled the room. And yeah. It, now, there's a sweetness to it. This one has more of a sweetness to it as well. But, yeah. So, let's go in for it. Already did. Oh, man. 
That is, um... What is that? That is unpleasant. It's like, is it buttery? A little buttery. Why is it buttery? It's honey. I don't, I don't know. Oh, my gosh. This Was this your worst one, Cameraman Jeremy? KFC honey sauce. Oh, it is oh, yeah. KFC yeah. honey sauce. Maybe um, with ice or in a mix. No, it's just bad. I just, okay, one more. Do I have to? Mm-mm. Okay, I won't. Right. It is KFC honey sauce. If you run out of KFC honey sauce but you have this, you can put it on your little biscuit and it'll taste the same. <laughs> there you go. We'll save the rest for cameraman Larry. For our third tasting, we're going to the Wild Turkey American Honey. We are 0 for 2 today. Yep. Hoping for uh, hoping for a big win right here. At least a single. Yep. A double would be nice. I mean, sure. I'll take anything. All right, so American Honey is the OG of American like whiskeys with honey in them. Then it was appropriately Since named. 1978. Oh, wow. Okay. But it changed its name to American Honey in like 2016. So it's a little different name. I don't know if it's the different in taste at all. But uh, years back, actually, 2014, they did bring out the uh, American Honey Sting. Have you heard of that? Mm. It's this, but with a little ghost pepper in it Ooh. for the sting. Okay. So it's essentially a flavored flavor whiskey, which huh. well, is kind of mind-blowing. I'm not surprised they only did that once. It's still out. Oh, it is? Could, yeah. Oh, I've never heard of that. Mm. Okay. So this one is definitely the lightest one that we've had so far. It's a very, very light, almost uh, almost kind of like a I'm tinted nervous. water. That doesn't feel like that's going to be a good thing. Um, the smell is decently atrocious. Um, what is atrocious about it? it it's just... It, it's a little perfumey. Yeah, it kind of kind of punches you right in the face with sweet honey. It's not even honey. It's it's it, something sweet. It's artificial. It like it, does it smell artificial. It, yeah, it shoves artificial. So it's not even like oh, you're smelling the you know. It's just Let's just get it over with. It's just okay. Here we go. Wow, that is um, painfully bad. It's it's the best of the three. Really? I think so. I disagree. I, I don't know. I get some honey on the back end. It, <laughs> it reminds me of more syrup. Yeah, it is syrupy. Uh, They've all been pretty syrupy. They though. have. It's just So if you cut it with ice or and, flavor, you know, use it as a mix, uh, it, we don't recommend it. Cameraman Gary gets this. Cameraman Larry's going to have a great night. Yep. We'll move on. That we're going to number four. Bring it home, Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey. There we go. It's got to be the winner, right? I it's got to be better than those. And Drew, I don't know if the viewers know this, but you actually are a honey connoisseur and a bit of a guru. Working on it. So we're gonna have a guest fact giver kicking it over to Drew for Who, fact number four. Who's the guest fact giver? You. Oh, what you? What fact do you want? Just about any honey? fact you want to give us about honey. Um, let's see, bees to get one pound of honey, okay. okay, which is about that much, you know. Uh, bees have to travel to over two million flowers. Two million? Two million flowers. Holy smokes. Which usually averages for over 50,000 miles worth of flight. And a single honeybee in its entire life will produce one twelfth of an ounce of honey. Say that again. A single honeybee That's not throughout much. its entire life will produce one twelfth wow, of an ounce man. of honey. I love facts. Yeah, there you go. You're welcome. I feel like the first three honey whiskeys are wasting all those bees' efforts a little bit. A little bit. I'm not sure how many of them were actually produced with honey, though. <laughs> <laughs> Artificial flavors? I, a yeah. lot of the, the background says they were pure honey. Okay. But didn't really taste it. No. So Here we go. All right. For this one, it is uh, more of a, a light to medium colored honey on the nose. 
it's uh, slightly more pleasant than the last. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's. I get caramel. I was getting a little bit of wood in this one. Really? You're mm -hmm. good. Uh, def obviously the honey as well. Okay, going in for the first sip. That one's not nearly as bad. You can taste a little old nu old number seven. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Which the other three, I really couldn't taste. The whiskey no. quality, yeah. Even uh, though the finish, you, you get a little bit of it too. Yeah, it's it's definitely a mix of whiskey and honey. Yeah, versus... still though, drinking this neat like we always drink these, tasting them neat. Right. I'd much probably rather ice with yeah. this. I think for the toast, we'll... Absolutely. Put this one on, on If ice. it's the winner, we'll see. I mean, clearly, <laughs> since we're going in for Spoiler. a second sip... Yeah, uh, getting that that Jack honey combo, a little bit of wood, a little bit of caramel, a little bit of vanilla. Definitely the honey. It's enjoyable. Mm -hmm. I I would think even for a mixer because it still has some of that true Jack to it, it's going to be a better That's better true. option than the others. Yeah. So all right, I'm going in for my last sip. I'm good. Okay, uh, more of the same. The finish combination of honey and old number seven there you go so scott drew which one was your least favorite <laughs> <laughs> interesting episode we had a lot of dogs in the in the fight and my least favorite was jim beam okay my least favorite was the uh the american, american honey. honey yeah all so three of the first were pretty bad oh yeah yeah i would argue now the price point is almost negligible we had like 16 17 19 and 20 um four bucks difference and, across the board and the proof is almost all the same they're all 70 except for this one that's 71 all pretty low proof right definitely not overwhelmed with alcohol more of a liqueur feel to pretty much all of them except for the jack yeah so there you go. In conclusion, buy the Jack. Yep. If you want a honey. Great mixer, I think. And if you're going to drink it with ice, like we're going to do for our cheers, mm -hmm. enjoyable. Yeah, definitely. So thanks for joining us today on Every Man's Whiskey. As always, please be sure to share, like, comment below if you'd like to add your thoughts and subscribe. And I promise next week's episode will be much better. Absolutely. Remember, quality over quantity. Drink responsibly. Sorry, gotta just suck it up and deal with it. Oh, we gotta oh, read look. that fact again. Oh, gotta go back to the, up. the phone and read that fact again. This is gonna be the worst fact ever, right? We can't do facts.